Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video you will learn how to create a project plan with specific deliverables and sub-deliverables and how to have their dashboard or and the completion status updated as in one when the uh, as in when a certain deliverable is met all right so let's let's look at this example i've created this project plan say with the idea of creating a website say for example a social network similar to facebook a, a, a very very basic version of facebook all right so let's go over the uh, legends first here i have mentioned stage number uh, stage number would be nothing but a breakdown of the major stages of creating a website like Facebook like uh, in stage one we would be creating the registration aspect module and in stage two, stage two we would be creating the wall uh, the, the profile wall I mean and in the third stage we'll be creating how to st how to update those st status updates and in stage four we have mentioned friendship module and in the last stage we have mentioned creating the messaging module now these stages can have sub sub modules all right these these stages are named for uh, well, first of all then have a major module and then they have the sub modules like registration can have a sub module like login page sign up page or forgot password page example like that uh, for example post creation can be status update with text status update with uh, with pictures and videos and sharing of the status text or tagging people on uh, on, on the status that is how and then like everything in life things do not happen in just one go they have to happen stepwise so a uh, project also ha develops in specific steps for example now if we are talking about the registration uh, uh, section of Facebook how would it work in step one we, we, we would be creating the project plan uh, sorry the, 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 we would be doing the planning for the project uh, how for the section how this section would work what all things would be there in step two we would be completing the designs in step three we can imagine we would be completing the development the actual coding and in stage four we would be doing the quality and tests the QA would be done and in stage five, the deployment would be done, right? It happens in anything at all. Even if you're create, baking a pizza, you in step one, maybe you would be just buying the regular stuff, whatever is required. Step two, you will be baking, you will be making the dough and cutting the vegetables. And in step three, you would be uh, baking the dough and, and applying those sauces and getting those sauces and all ready. Step four, maybe just taking out things and eating it <laughs> step I, why would we i believe cleaning cleaning the dishes <laughs> so that is how things work now what i have done is to ensure that uh, we are able to get a completion percentage i have given certain weightages to individual stages and the and their sub steps now when i say i have given weightage to stages it means that the registration section should be should involve around 15 percent uh, effort of the complete website that would be taken in the complete website the ball would take around 25 percent of the efforts post creation would take 15 percent friendship module would take another 25 percent and messaging would take another 20 percent same way i have given weightages to these steps also now Step one, which is the planning part, has been given a weightage of 15%. The designing part, step two, has been given a weightage of 20%. Step three, the development part of the website, 40%. The QA part is 20%. And the deployment phase is 5%. These you can change yourself according to your need. I've done them for an example to, to show you in this example. Now, what I've done is, for example, now these are the some modules that need to be done and this is the planning part now what you need to do is that if 
something is to be done, uh, has been completed, you can mark it as done over here. If it is not completed, you can mention say yet to start. Anything you want or uh, in progress, if something is in progress or you know something would be delivered by a specific date, say 19th May, which is today. Today is my daughter's birthday also. Happy birthday, Dia. And however, what, what you see over here is that whatever status you put, as long as you put a done over here, it will, it will this section would automatically can, uh, calculate how much percentage of this specific section has been completed. So this I have achieved using the count if and the counter formula. Over here also you see all these four aspects have been done. So it is showing that this aspect, step two of stage one is 100% complete. Step one of stage one is 25% complete. How I did it, let me show you the formula. This formula is basically taking into account that it would taking into account all these steps that have been mentioned over here and their current status status their current status can be anything you can even put a hyphen or a dash over there just don't leave it blank and as soon as you mark the status done that is when the formula would jump in how what it does is that what I am uh, done is that I've used count if to count how many times done occurs in this given range and then I have divided that by the total number of counts wherein there is some text mentioned in the in this range. So for that I have used the counter formula. It simply calculates the number of cells which are not empty. So this way we were able to see that one cell contained done out of the total four cells. So it's giving you a percentage of 25% completion. I have copied this formula. See, same here. Let me mark it as done. Let me mark it as anything else and say again 19 slash 5 today's date. The statuses changes not to be done. See, as long as you mention a done, it is to be, this is how the status would update. Now, how would it reflect in the dashboard? See, I've created a dashboard wherein I have mentioned the stages here. I have mentioned the percentages, the weightage that I gave them over here. Remember, we gave these weightages to these stages. I've mentioned them over here. I've mentioned the steps over here. All right, and the weightages we gave to the steps. We gave these weightages to the steps. I mentioned them over here. And now, what is this? Let me show you what is this. This is the completion percentage, the actual completion percentage of step one of stage one how did i get it over here simple i pressed it is equal to i went to the milestone and i clicked on the cell which reflected the completion percentage of step one of stage one see it got updated so this is how i did it for the rest of these once it is done you can simply cop copy them over now once this is copied over then comes the important aspect of giving them weighted averages weighted averages would calculate would calculate how much your project has progressed over a given time frame, how much of each MVP has been complete, of each stage has been completed. See, and specifically it will tell you what percentage, what is the completion project percentage of your project as of now. Nowhere over here does it tell that what is the total completion of the project, percentage of the project completion, but here it does. It says that the project is 44.81% complete. Now, how did it, I how did I get these averages? Let me just show you. Okay, I'll show you over here. What I did was to calculate the weighted average, I 
multiplied the completion percentage of step 1 stage 1 with the weightage of step 1 again that was multiplied by the weightage of the stage so this is how I got this percentage same here is equal to I multiplied the completion percentage of step 2 stage 1 with the weightage of step 2 multiplied again it with the weightage of stage 1 this is how I got this percentage same here the rest is just copy paste I co copied them over here let us complete this one line multiplying completion percentage of step 3 stage 1 with weightage of step 1 multiplying it with the weightage of stage 1 again step 4 multiplying the completion percentage with the weightage of step 4 again it being multiplied with the weightage of the stage complete last step 5 same procedure to be repeated isn't it simple and here we are it says that stage 1 is out of the total 15% weightage that we have done 13.31 weightage has been already reached that it's almost complete which we can see that four steps are 100% complete and this step is just 25% complete let me go ahead and make a change over here let me do it as updated as done now what would happen see this is also updated now so you have a total percentage that the total weightage that we gave to stage 1 has been met see it is equal 15% 15% and the project percentage has also been changed now earlier it was 40 something now it is 54.94 so this is how it works you can download this template from my website myelesson.org this you can use this template for free for creating your own project plans feel, feel free to comment uh, on this video to ask questions and i'll be glad to help you Hope you like this video. So until the next video, this is your guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.